uh, what you're doing. So, all right, so the last one that we're gonna cover today is obesity. All right, so I don't really have any notes on the obesity. I can't read what, <laughs> what I have anyway, because it's so small. Um, what they are referencing in this particular set of studies is the difference between people who use the ketogenic diet for their obesity versus people who used a calorie restricted diet. Yes. So it shows that a very low carb ketogenic diet can be more effective for most people than a calorie restricted low carb diet. And so the first study was a 24 week study and this was in men who followed a ketogenic diet lost twice as much fat as men who ate a low fat diet. And so we're talking fat. These people lost not, lost not just weight, but they lost fat. And we, and we said a low fat diet, not a low carb diet. Right. Actually, you misspoke earlier. I'm sorry, so low it, carb, not low fat. We don't want low fat. We want the well, opposite we want, of low right, fat. Right, right. So, <laughs> the, so people on a ketogenic diet did twice as good as people right. on a low Losing. fat diet. Right, or low calorie, yeah. yes. Yes. Calorie restricted yes. is the words that they're using. Yes. So, and it said in addition to that, their triglycerides dropped significantly and their HDL, their good cholesterol, increased. So, part of that is not just practicing ketogenic diet, but overall weight loss can help those things as well. For some reason, your body reacts very well when you lose a significant amount of weight as far as your numbers getting better. So. Right. And, and one of the things that I noted here is that. Um, it says the ketogenic diet's ability to reduce hunger is one of the reasons why they work so well for weight loss. Right. It's because people aren't, aren't hungry. Right. And so... Because they're allowed to eat yes. more... Yes. I wouldn't say as much as they want because, I mean, you can still run into trouble if you're, like, non-stop eating even on the ketogenic yes. diet. But believe me, I know that. <laughs> as opposed to calorie restriction where you're only given a certain allotment every day and you have to stay within that. The ketogenic diet allows you more freedom in the ability to eat uh, more satiating foods and not have to stay necessarily within a calorie budget. So it can be a little bit easier to stick to, like CJ said, because you're not as hungry. Yeah. So. And I think people who do keto and, and actually, you know, I've met people who do keto and then they stop, they get off of keto completely. Um, I know one person that I can think of who she told me she lost about 150 pounds off of keto, doing keto, and uh, I don't think she's really practicing keto pretty all that strictly right now. But I do remember talking to her about, uh, I guess, kind of the difference. So when she was doing keto, she wasn't as hungry as she is now, and her kind of gone back to the sad diet. And I think she's flipping back and forth between the two. I'm not saying that's what you need to do, but I'm just saying that there is a distinct difference because we we've talked about how come we've been able to stay on keto. I would never want to go back to being hungry to keto. all the time. Yeah, that would be really miserable. Yeah, to and, me. and 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 I can't say that it was. It's different. It's not like it is. It's not you know, like a regular to... diet where you you know feel like you're deprived. I so. talked to Becca about that, my sister. We were talking about that just like a week ago and how, you know, 10 years ago we had practiced, you know, calorie restriction together because yeah. I was living with her at the time. And you know, we we would go and get like, you know, smart ones or Michelinas or whatever because they were a certain amount of calories. Sure. And so you would you would eat that and it was almost like eating a Jenny Craig or whatever because this was your allotment of mm -hmm. your serving size and your calorie size.